today we will be talking about the building blocks of the atom in the subatomic level, or if you're a weeaboo, the subtitle atomic level. Oh, like positive and negative energy? Yes. Reminds me. Your thoughts can feather mucking change reality. Yeah, yeah, shut up. First, electrons. Electrons were first discovered by the Greeks. Um, when they noticed that amber attracts fuzzy objects. Along with lightning, this was one of potential clogging polluters' first interactions with electricity. Electrons don't necessarily run on either positive or negative energy. Um, I didn't have enough time to research, um, like, what they run on, but I know that they do not have any known sub sub substructure or anything like that. They're the third, they're the third party atom in the atomic system, as I like to call it. Potential clogging polluters? That's what I call humanity. Neutrons are next. Neutrons were discovered in the 20th century, and their discovery led to the creation of the atomic bomb. They didn't need to discover a new atomic particle to make a nuclear bomb. They just had to buy a bunch of Taco that Bell. wasn't founded until 1962. Still, Mexican or Indian food would be a much better Finally, source. Finally, protons. Proton the concept of protons and similar concepts have existed for a long period of time. Um, anyway, I've been, I got up at like 3 a.m. to start working on this. And now it's like 5 a.m. So I've got to uh, edit, um film banga scenes and uh upload this caffeine you're a lifesaver i'm gonna die at the age of 50 from sleep deprivation